everyone. Drum tech drummer and online educator Kenny Sher is coming to you from the road for a little video on how to clean cymbals while out on tour. Now I've seen a lot of people looking at some of my other cleaning cymbal or cymbal cleaning videos, but I've never really done one with a polish I've been using a lot lately, which is the Music Nomad Cymbal Cleaner, y'all. Now this cymbal polish has proved valuable for me on just about everything I do, from K cymbals to A cymbals to like HHX or, or brilliant style cymbals like this. So I figured I'd take some time today to talk to y'all about proper cymbal cleaning technique. Since I see so many people asking questions or DM on my videos or daring me about it, I figured we'd take a little time. Now we're gonna go show you what I got here. One, I've got a towel to clean on top of because cymbal cleaning gets everywhere. Put something underneath your cymbal. A buffing towel and a polishing towel. Like one's to get in there and polish it off, the other is to buff off the stuff. And you're gonna need it, you're gonna need a lot because there's gonna be a lot of stuff. Now, the first thing I wanna point out to everyone is I see a lot of people use a lot of polish. And in general, you don't wanna use a lot of polish all at once. You wanna go ahead and just kind of clean a little segment, like this little droplet I put on right there. That little droplet I put on right there, yeah. That's gonna be more than enough for this area. I have a glove to keep my hands clean so I don't smell like cymbal polish. And I'm gonna approach my cymbal simply in sections. And that's what a lot of people don't think about. You wanna approach it in sections because these fingerprints down here, you wanna dig into. Now you notice I'm coming dangerously close to that Shabian logo, but I'm not getting into it. Just right to the edge. I'll do some fine polishing beforehand and a little buffing afterwards because in general, I try to stay away from the logos. But now as I spread the polish out, you'll see just a little polish really starting to go a long way, man. And you kind of want to work that area. Now, once you get going on it with this Music Nomad, you kind of want to possibly go to your buffing towel soon, simply because too much metal buildup from buffing a little bit of it off can be a bad thing. Now, the thing about Music Nomad, you don't get a lot. You only get a little, so I feel good about it. I'm gonna let it sit for a minute. And then we're just gonna buff in and buff in. Now, you notice that I'm going in a circular pattern with the lines of the symbols. There's a reason for that. Because one, it cleans it well. Two, it helps you approach the grooves in a very sensible manner. And then when you clean it up and get most of the polish off and you brush down the grooves, get rest, rid of rest of the, the, the polish, it doesn't scratch the symbol or polish the symbol in a funky way or leave swirl marks. You just kind of want to get in it and add it. Now you'll also notice that I'm doing the bottom of the symbol first. And that's because basically it's just you're going to be using your hand to hold it still. So you're going to get the top dirty. You don't want to do that after you've cleaned it. So now we've got half that symbol clean, nice and simple, easy. Now, while we do this, I'm going to go ahead and get in here to this logo so we can talk about actual technique. I mean, just sitting here watching me clean symbols. Hey, that's, that's so fun, right? You know, but I put this at a 4K so we could, you know, zoom in a little bit. Now I put a little bit on my towel. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to gently dance around this Shabian logo and I'm going to get a little bit and I'm going to work it for the whole logo because you don't want to miss. You don't want to have a lot of spots where you could actually brush off your logos. It's almost like a little paint by numbers thing. You just want to get around it. Go around the little moons. Now, you know, they did a thing where they made it really hard to do their logo the way I used to where you got to got to get in there. So once I've wiped off the polish, I'll brush a little on there, but you notice I'm not digging. I'm just brushing. Let the polish do the work. And that way when you buff off, hopefully, you're not attacking the logos too much. Now, I've gotten good at this. I mean, even getting down to that little A in the middle, right in there, just a little brush right in there. You don't want to super clean it. You just want to lighten it. Because in general, nobody's going to see the little bit that it's off from a distance. I'm getting just a little dab more here to get around this B inside the B. But I'm going to have to come outside to break up the polish. Because if I put too much in the middle, it'll spread out and tear up your logos. And then once I'm done, I'm gonna go around the area of the logo just so I'm not tempted on other area cleanings to go over the logo again. You're like, great job, and you start buffing. You're like, oh my God, what have I done? All right, now I'm gonna go to my buffing towel, and here's where it's really kind of important. Like, I, oh, let me get that last little corner there. Buffing, you wanna buff around the logo, but the logo itself, you wanna be real gentle about. You just want to be gentle, as gentle as it gets, just gentle about it. Uh, that way you're not really intending to take it off. Because in the end, you know, every bit of polishing, anytime it goes over the logo, it's going to come off. It's going to come down a little bit. But if we can make it to where you can barely see it, then once it dries, you should be able to buff it off without having too much logo disappear. Now again, I'm going around the area around it, into it. And then I'm gonna do the same thing I did with buffing. It's just real gentle, little tiny, tiny, tinies. Get in there. It's worth the effort. Well, you might not get all the grime, again, at a distance. 
it'll be easier to not notice if you get just in all those little areas. Now I have to go over the moon here, so I'm gonna move my towel again and buff it out gently. I'm not going deep on this area now with the letters, same thing, I'm not going deep. Just brushing and buffing, looking at the areas where maybe I could go a little harder. And I might have to go by with a little polish might have missed, but in general, other than a few touch-ups, this logo's now looking great. Other than a few spots I gotta get around this ash, you don't see any of the stuff and you won't see that from a distance. So again, man, it's easy to go ahead and take the time. It's not easy always, but if you take the time to really fine tune around your logos, which I'm gonna do for my bro here, and let it sit for a minute and right by this A, and again, that's all I did, brush it in a little bit. Now I'm gonna let those sit for just a minute, but not too long. So I can also talk to you about these terrible things green spots, especially when you get them on like your K's or your A's, like this is your traditional Finnish kind of symbol, man, with no brilliance to it, no super mega buff. And so you're like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? Well, the first thing I wanna tell you is when you get green spots on this, if you can get them off pretty quickly, it's a good idea because this will eventually etch itself into the look of the symbol and you'll just have big old splotches you can never get rid of. However, the first thing I can recommend is after your gig, just Wipe down your symbols. If you're hot, sweaty, just take a minute, wipe them down. It's totally worth it. Even if you have to rush off stage and bag them and then jump back and wipe them off, it's worth it to avoid the green sludge. However, if we're gonna get into it, let's get into it. So I'm gonna put a little bit bigger spot on there. Find out, what, yeah, here's my, here's my cleaning rack, got it right. And I'm gonna go ahead and power clean this area so I can see what I'm doing, but I'm also gonna let it kind of take away the green spot itself until I'm like, yep, it's almost gone. And then I'm just gonna go on that spot. Keep going on that spot. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go back over the area again with some polish. Back and forth following the ridge of the shambles. So it polishes well. Oh, look at this guy. This is wonderful. And again, with the A costumes and the K's, man, this is what I like most about, uh, what do you call it? This is what I love most about this Music Nomad polish is that it makes, it's like the older polishes I used to use where it really cleans traditional symbols well and it doesn't eat them up too much. It leaves no funky swirl marks or residue. Now I am pushing pretty hard. I'm gonna come around over here to this spot where there's some green on it. Green on it and go ahead and get the head start on those while that section dries. Because if you can spend a little bit more time on the green spots, totally worth it. Now again, you see me continuously doing everything in the circle of the symbol hitting a few spots, trying not to cross breed against the, uh, or cross grain, go across the grain. Now we're gonna go with our buffing towel to the part we cleaned with green spot. Oh, kids. See, I love this, I love this polish. <laughs> it's so good, it's so easy. And I mean, you know, I'm pro tech for many years. I don't have no special box out here to buff this stuff down. Mickey's got a huge work box, so I just got my Pelican with me. Uh, we got tons of cases. We don't need another case. We just need our shoulders here, just like you at home. You're not gonna have that mega buffing wheel. Look at it. He's on tour with the mega buffing wheel. I wish I had that in my house. Great bitch. All right. Uh, green's gone. Green's gone. And it, it really, if I had just buffed it and then walked away, wouldn't have done it. I had to dig into the spots first. And I'm gonna go over these green spots, which are now almost gone on the other spots before I rebuff so it doesn't burn the polish too deep into the symbol. And now all my green spots are gone. There's no more on this symbol. And that's why I like the music no matter. See how easy that was? Just follow the grain of the symbol, buff it down a little, let it sit, and then buff it down again a little bit harder and work your areas. And always roll with the grain of the symbol until you're done, because then when you're done, then you go, okay, well, then I could do this and look at this. Since I've done this really well in the circle, and then I come back over here, it'll buff out the rest, and there's no funky marks, no swirling, no nothing. It's just symbols that look good on stage, sound good on stage, y'all. And so now, head to toe, you see this HHX is brilliant as it gets. It's like it's brand new out the shop. It took very little labor. All I had to do was make sure I was careful about my logos. And that's the thing, y'all. There's no easy solution. You can't just wipe over it. I wish you could. You can't. So just make sure you spend that time on it. You're gonna get the shiny this and all these A's, man. Check this out, bro. Look at that A, shiny as it gets. This side, not so much so, because I ain't done it yet, but this side, come on. Thank you for watching. If you wanna find more tech and video tips online, check out YouTube, Kenny Shares. Thank you all for watching and support my channel. Super thanks, it's always available in my videos to help support my channel. And if you want more in-depth, 
drum tuning or tech lessons, head on over to KennyShares.com where you can stream step-by-step -step lessons that'll teach you all the techniques I use for drummers such as Mickey Hart, Stanley Randolph, Chris Johnson, Little John Roberts, while out on tour with them. The things that they use live that work for them, that work for me, can work for you. Check it out, y'all. KennyShares.com.